Chapter One Hundred and One of the Holiest of All by Andrew Murray. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Christopher Smith. Chapter One Hundred and One, Noah, the Work of Faith. Hebrews Chapter Eleven, Verse Seven. By faith Noah, being warned of God concerning things not seen as yet, moved with godly fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house through which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is according to faith in abel we see how faith makes death the path to life in enoch how faith conquers death in noah how faith saves others from death by the work it does for them the moment the entrance into the holiest through the blood had been set open to us we were called to the work of love chapter 10 verses 19 24 and 25 if with abel we have drawn nigh to god in the death of christ and the death to self this is the root of the tree if with enoch we have given ourselves to a walk with god in his presence and good pleasure this is the tree growing from the root let us with noah do the work of faith that can bless and save those around us this is the fruit of the tree in his story we find all the essential elements of faith combined by faith noah being warned of god concerning things not seen as yet faith has ever to do with the future and the unseen it lives in god's word and thoughts it sees what the world cannot see it sees all the future too in the light of god when god reveals his terrible almost incredible judgment it simply believes it trusts not to its own experience or instinct its thoughts or wishes it believes in the inconceivable fearfulness of a judgment to come o believer if thou wouldst live and save men believe what god has said of the impending doom that is coming on the world moved with godly fear when jesus prayed in gethsemane verse nine under the sense of what sin and death are it was with godly fear we are exhorted chapter twelve verse twenty eight to offer service well pleasing to god with godly fear because our god is a consuming fire it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living god how awfully and repeatedly our epistle speaks of the fate of the disobedient surely it becomes us whose eyes have been opened with godly fear to listen to god's warnings and then under the mighty impulse of that motive moved with godly fear on some to have mercy with fear snatching them out of the fire by faith noah prepared an ark faith wrought fear and fear wrought diligence and faith guided heart and hand for the work of deliverance no one had ever heard of a coming flood and the destruction of a world by water no one could ever have thought if the world were drowned of an ark escaping alone but faith lives in fellowship with god it knows his secrets of judgment and of salvation it so possesses a man that he gives up his life to act it out in the face of the mockery of men and the long delay of the day and all the difficulties of the work noah held fast to god's word simply listen to what god says and in the obedience of faith to give up our whole heart and life to carry it out this is faith to the saving of his house the believer is blessed by god to be made a blessing the faith of noah made perfect by works saved his family and with the family he saved the race and became the father of us all his preaching appeared to have little fruit and yet the whole church of god since his day owes its life to his faith too man was created in god's likeness in this too that he has power over other lives the power begins with the family but reaches farther the man of faith who with abel in the one sacrifice has passed through death to life and with enoch walks with god has power with god the power of life and of blessing through which he condemned the world the difference between the unbeliever and the believer is this the one is a man of the world and lives here the other is a man of god and lives in heaven his whole life is a protest and a condemnation of the world 
abel enoch noah all three were equally rejected and despised by the world because they condemned its works god grant that the life of his believing children may be so clear and bright that the world may feel itself condemned by them and became heir of the righteousness which is according to faith the righteousness of standing in the right relation to god of a life of which faith is the root and power righteousness has been defined the giving each his due this is the worth of faith in the sight of god it gives him his place as god in it the soul confesses that it is nothing and that god is all this faith god counts for righteousness the faith that noah manifested with regard to the ark and the salvation it was to bring we must show in relation to christ and his salvation the opened sanctuary is an ark of refuge christ has completed and perfected all but what work there is for us to do in gathering into it all that can be saved let us like noah give our lives to this let us listen to god's awful threatenings on a sinful world and be moved with fear let us believe in the infinite power of the great salvation provided with the love that waits to dispense and apply it let us believe in the call of god that invites and enjoins each one of his redeemed children to be a messenger of mercy to the perishing and that assures us that he will abundantly use every one that trusts him by faith noah prepared an ark to the saving of his house does not this give faith a new attractiveness and value by the prayer of faith and the labor of faith by the death to self in christ and by the walk in the presence of god our hearts can be filled with a love and a power that cannot be fruitless the holy spirit that came from our beloved priest king on the throne in the holiest as a witness to god's pleasure in us and to the indwelling of our lord came specially as an endowment of power to make us in our turn witnesses for him o all ye who by faith have entered into the holiest and its blessings go forth and work the work of faith by faith bring in those who are still without this is the faith that makes you an heir of the righteousness which is according to faith abel enoch noah all types of jesus abel the righteous one hated and slain by his brethren coming to god with sacrifice enoch the beloved son in whom god is well pleased walking with him on earth and taken up into heaven noah preparing salvation saving his people condemning the world the one thing god gives me is jesus the dying one the living one the redeeming one the one thing he asks of me is faith faith will make me like him beginning with the able blessing drawing nigh to god through death i come to the enoch blessing the life of unbroken fellowship and so i learn the secret of the noah blessing and become a savior of others and all by faith end of chapter 101